All right, y'all, so what's up? Uh, so today we're gonna chat about our top five books that we're looking forward to the remainder of 2020. Um, and kind of, you know, just take y'all through uh, what we're looking forward to and what we're excited about and, uh, you know, how we're feeling. I got five on it. <laughs> Yo, how they um, remix that joint? Yeah, um, right. All right, so number one is uh, from Will Wright in the, um, the Cradle series. Um, and what's the name of the book? Uh, Winter Steel. Winter Steel is the name of the book uh, from Will Wright. And it's in a series of, so far, there's seven books in the series. Uh, this will be the eighth one. Uh, the last one came out in 2019. Yep. And uh, I mean, it's just a, a great uh, story about uh, these people who um, follow different paths to uh, power. Yep. Uh, they follow different paths to power and they use their souls to harness that power, right? That's a good um, and session. it's like sci-fi meets fantasy, um, you know, some outer space elements in there. Um, it's, it's heavily Asian um, influenced. influenced. Yeah. Um, and it, it's just, it's really dope, man. And, you know, our, our main character is someone who, the first book is called Unsold. He doesn't, uh, apparently can't control the powers of the universe because he's just, you know, he's not that gifted as everyone else. Yeah. Um, but obviously come to find out, he fights through diversity, you know, through, through adversity um, and gets some some skills, get some powers, and actually becomes very very strong within the, this universe. Um, as has we, one of our favorite female characters, yeah, of yeah. all time in there. Um, She's dope. Um, Yaren. Yaren. Um So great series. There's seven books out right now. The eighth one's on the way. He hasn't put a date out there for but us. He knocks out like two a year, so we still, so we still we're hopeful. Crossed. We're hopeful for the end of 2020. But if not, I'm sure 2021 he'll give us one or two books. Uh, so um, shout out to Will White. Uh, shout out to that series. If y'all haven't read it, go check it out. It's super dope. Second book is going to be Brandon Sanderson's uh, Rhythm of War. My man Sanderson. Ah, man. And this, so I read something before we watched the video that Sanderson said he envisioned this scene that's going to be in this book mm -hmm. like 10 or 15 years ago before he started writing epic novels, like before people gave him a chance. And so he's like, I'm so excited for y'all to read this scene that's going to be in this book. Uh, we both read the first two. We, we're going to knock out Oathbringer before Rhythm of War comes out. Um, try to. That book try like to. It. It's like 1,300 pages. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's a monster. <laughs> it's a monster. But, uh, but Sanderson's excited about this book just gets me even more excited because he yeah. does high quality work. Yeah. Um, so Rhythm of War comes out, I want to say, November 17th. Um, so we are we are definitely anxiously awaiting it. We mm -hmm. probably won't finish it in 2020. Nah. Um, maybe in the 2021, but we're excited about it. It's just it's so much going on. I can't even give you a brief description because of how over it's it's yeah. on a scale of, of Game of Thrones, Tolkien. Yeah. It's that massively scaled. Yeah, and then also you gotta think about like Sanderson is it's within the Cosmere. Yep. Um Sanderson. So there's other Gal series you know, yeah. tied to yeah. There's other series huge. tied to it. It's huge. Um but it's it's a great story. Yeah. And uh, I mean I'm just I'm just stoked. I'm ready for that one to come out. Obviously but I, I gotta I gotta read book three first. Yeah. Um but I mean hey you, you still gotta be happy about a release when Sanderson Oh, yes. oh, yeah. Third book, you got the uh, Timothy Zahn. Timothy Zahn. Chaos um, Ascendancy. Chaos Ascendancy. Um, that basically follows our favorite Chiss. Chiss. Um, our blue, our, brilliant. Yes, Mr. Commander. Brilliant himself. Um, <laughs> ah, what's his name? Uh, Who? Uh, my guy. Thrawn? Thrawn. Oh, yeah. Fa follows our favorite character, Thrawn, um, uh, which is he's part of the Empire. Um, but at this point, I think this is like a prequel before he joins the Empire. Uh, and so we, we find out more about his backstory, his 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 world, where he comes from and what's kind of going on there uh, before he makes it uh, into, uh, you know, join, joining the Empire. Yeah. Um, and for that, I mean, we've read the first uh, book in, um, the in the, rec his recent series. Yeah. Uh, which was uh, called Thrawn, the Thrawn titled Thrawn. Yep. Um, and there's three books in that. Uh, we've only read Thrawn. Uh, we weren't gonna hop on the other two, but then we found out this one was coming yeah. out. We were like, oh, we gotta read we the, gotta other two. the other we two. We gotta finish the other two so we can hop on this one. So we look, definitely look forward to that. If you're a Star Wars fan, uh, it's no question, like, go read that. Go, yeah. go look forward to that and check that and out. And it actually comes out soon, so November 1st. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, no, no, uh, September, September 1st, 1st. September 1st. That one comes out. Yep. So, real soon. Dope. This one's got blue pages, man. It's going to be dope. Yeah, that's so so they're, they're dropping. Um, like, a certain number of first editions. Yeah, a certain number of first editions. So, um, if you're into that, make sure you pre order or head up to your nearest bookstore and, and, and grab a copy of that. Real Should quick. Be dope. All, All right. right. So, fourth on the list uh, is a new one that I recently discovered uh, Naomi Novik. Uh, if y'all know a lot about her, please fill out comments about how great she is. But she's supposed to do this new series called A Deadly Education mm -hmm. um, in the School of Man series. Uh, basically, I, what I got from it is like there's this school of magic where the only two ways of getting out are dying or graduating. Mm -hmm. Like that's it. You either die through the, and it's just a dark art school. Yeah. So, you know, think about like Snape, but just only Snape's yeah. is in there. That's how I see it in Harry yeah. Potter. It it's almost sounds like... Um, like, you know, so in The Witcher, you have, uh, uh, what's her name? Jennifer. Jennifer, who yeah. goes through like a dark uh, or a, a magical wizarding school. Yeah. And it sounds very similar sounds to like very, that experience. Yeah, very, okay. it, it does sound similar. Um, I think the main girl name is Elle, and she has like some secrets and she's trying to unravel how the school goes. But, um, but yeah, like die or graduate and how, I want to see how that goes, yeah. if they subvert that at all. Um, but from what I read, Naomi's an amazing author, uh, author yeah. and this series is really, really supposed to be different in how they handle um, going through magic okay. school, if only because it's just mainly about dark arts, you know? Okay. So I'm excited about that. That comes out September 29th. Um, so I'll be looking forward to that. I definitely want to show some love and yeah. check her out, and yeah. and, and I'm, I'm look forward to it. I, I like the I like seeing the other side of yes you know dark arts yes. um in the magic world. Fifth. What's fifth on our list? Evan Winter. Evan Winter. What's the name of the book? Venge uh, Fires of Vengeance. Listen, y'all. We ain't even reviewed the last book yet. We just finished reading it. And when I tell you, when I tell you, it was dope. It was dope. It was fire. Listen. Can you put some fire emojis in? <laughs> Listen, like, oh man, man. like, <laughs> it was just so much emotion involved in this book. Yeah. Um, yeah. we'll we'll get a review on that one. But it's when I tell you that there was so much. First of all, reading the book, there was so much pride in it. Um, it was kind of like when everyone got so hyped about Black Panther. Yeah. Um, from Marvel. When that came out, that's that's the feeling it evoked when yes, I was watching, yes. when I was uh, reading this book. Like I, yeah. I feel like I had to go uh, put on like a dashiki, a dashiki or whatever, yeah. and, and just like you know, just sit there and just take it all, right. all in. Like, and, and like we're career fantasy fiction readers, right? Yeah. I can't tell you when the I very put up my first fantasy book, yeah. but I know I was a kid, and yeah. I've read some from being a kid to yeah. being a teenager to being a young adult to yeah. being on what we are now, mm -hmm. but we've got kids, but like. This is one of the first time I've seen, like, I feel like someone who relates very closely to me right. write a book in the genre that I love. Yeah. And I'm like, oh man, like. Yeah. And we're sure there's plenty there's, of I'm sure, and, out and there. And if you know some more, suggest yeah. them. Yeah, we're definitely, um, you know, this one kind of opened eyes. Open eyes like, oh, find more like that. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, because growing up, like, I mostly just read what was put in front of me. Yes. Like, what yes. was what was you know, easily searchable, yeah. like obviously Harry Potter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that was the first one. Like you said, and if it's popular, me. it's just gonna they're gonna yeah, be pushed everywhere about it. Pushed. Um, and so this one kind of this one we found this one. We were like, yo, yeah. what? Let's read this. And we book Twitter. It out. Thank you. Yeah, book Twitter. Thanks. So it's it's <clears throat> previous one. Rage of Dragons was phenomenal, phenomenal from just the language. Yeah. The the characters, yeah. the plot, yeah. the the idea of, of this this man searching for revenge yeah. when he was counted out, like he was just fodder, yeah. basically. Basically, basically. And he comes and he did. Oh, ah, yeah. listen, y'all go check that book out. And the next one's dropping. What's the date for the November tenth? I believe. November tenth. Uh, we ready. We locked in. Oh yeah. We, we pre ordering, going to the store, yeah. waiting in line. Like yo. So, yeah, we ready to read this one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's top. That's our five. That's our five. We're looking forward to in uh, twenty twenty. Um, you know, uh, tell us what y'all yeah. are like. What what y'all looking forward to coming so, out? Y'all might have some great suggestions, yeah. and so we definitely want to take them into consideration. So yeah, you know, we appreciate it. So that's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's it. All right, y'all. Catch you in the next one.